If you would like to increase your flight time during the cold weather season, then this video is for you, so please stay tuned. First, and as usual, make sure that you always look to see if the DJI Go app needs an update. Basically, you could go to your app store or if you use an Android you should go to Google Play and in that way you will be able to see if any update for the app is available after that then you should be able to do any update for either the remote controller or for the aircraft in this case we're gonna be doing the upgrade for the aircraft first turn on your remote controller secondly make sure that you open your DA go app then while the phantom is off insert your micro SD card in the gimbal reader writer turn on the phantom always make sure that you transfer all your pictures to your computer before doing any uh, format of your SD card. You will be able to see the uh, actual space you have in the SD card. The format you will be able to see that you gain some space. Turn off the Phantom. Take out the SD card. Go to DJI.com. The website looks a little bit different. Go to the Phantom section. Here you will be able to see the information for the Phantom 3 Professional. Down here is the downloads. The next one in the same section is for the standard and also you will be able to see the um, features, the specification, videos and downloads, okay? The one I'm going to be using is the one for the Phantom 3 Professional. You click in the one that is relevant to your Phantom. This is a section for the documents and manuals if you would like to read about it. Click on the zip file depending on your aircraft. In my case I'm going to be doing the one for the professional. I'm going to be saving my firmware on my desktop. Then go to your finder and your finder look for the desktop there you will be able to see the zip file and of course after that you make sure that you look for the bean file this is a zip file you need is the one that said at the end bin this is the one that you need the one that said bin at the end this is a 1.0 point bin that's the one you need you're gonna insert the SD card in a, an adapter insert the adapter into your computer go to your finder and then where is devices look for the no name file that is your SD card DCIM file basically inside your SD card you are not gonna use the zip you're gonna be using the one that said at the end bin this is the one you need this is the one that you are not gonna use so what we're gonna be doing is we are going to click 
on the one that said bin we're gonna click and hold down right and then we're gonna drag into the no name file you let go and it's gonna start copying the file into the SD card when it's completed you see that all this information is inside your SD card that DCIM at the bin file that you need now we're gonna eject the SD card get the SD card into your phantom while it's still off make sure that the battery at least is 50 percent charge turn it on and just let the process to take place blinking red and green light means that the process is ongoing and the uh, four DDDs is also a confirmation that an upgrade is taking place so you will be able to see that the battery is making some changes in the way it's blinking and that means that uh, this firmware is actually aimed to upgrade your battery you will be able to get confirmation that the um, sound of 3DDD is letting you know that the upgrade has been completed. Also, you will be able to see a visual confirmation with a green solid LED light telling you that the upgrade has been completed. Turn off the Phantom, take out the SD card, reinsert your SD card in an adapter, insert in your computer, go into your finder, look for the devices and look for the no name in there you will be able to see the update that you uploaded into the SD card and also you will be able to see the test result of your upgrade you're gonna click on it and you're gonna look for the actual number which is at the very bottom look for the 1.06.0040 it's at the very bottom and you will be able to see it right there that is 1.6.0 and it says success that means that everything went fine every time you see that the information aboard um, or identical information it was not necessary to replace those files okay place your batteries reinsert the SD card which still had the upgrade that we already did earlier in that way all the batteries will be able to obtain this new firmware you have to do this with each and every one of your batteries you will be able to get once again for each battery red and green blinking lights you will be able to see also on your batteries that is blinking the lights in the levels of charge you will be able to get the sound confirmation that the firmware upgrade is taking place and eventually when it's completed you will be able to hear once again that 3 DDDs confirmation sound and the solid green LED light to let you know that each battery has been upgraded. At the end, we turn off the aircraft and then we turn on the radio control or remote controller. Turn out the Phantom. We're gonna go into the aircraft status, which is the main page. Just touch on it. Here you will be able to see that no other updates are needed. I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, just send me an email, subscribe, like, and as usual, have fun, learn, don't get in trouble, use your toolbox.
until the next time.